home. What up, y'all? Let's talk a little bit about self-esteem real quick. That's actually something I like to talk about a lot, but, um, well, it's because I had to go get it for myself, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if you have said the words, someone else has negatively impacted your self-esteem, someone else has tore down or negatively impacted your self-concept, I want to encourage you and uh, ask you to consider that, well, no one should be able to do that. You know, precisely what makes confident people so dangerous is that they have experience with themselves and they have self-trust. And um, so no one can come and tell me about myself because I'm working on myself. The details of my personality because I'm literally like, I don't want to do this anymore. I want to do this. Oh, I have to work my way up to that. So this is where I am. And I'm going to get here by like maybe in a month. And what other weaknesses do I see? Like I'm doing this like every morning, right? Um, and so then when someone's like, Byron, you're this. I'm like, no. Or I'm like, you know what? I might be actually. I haven't looked in that corner, right? And so you can rest in who you are. Confidence, man priceless experience with yourself of trying to get better so you know who you are so no external thing can take anything from you or negatively impact who and what you are I also I get under 315 pounds wrapping it out I know how strong I am I taught myself that I can simultaneously I know how weak I am I know exactly where my capabilities end and where my limitations begin it's a very healthy thing Additionally, though, no one's going to walk up to me and tell me who and what I am and have me absorb it. I'm not that porous because I have this relationship with myself, right? So um, if you're letting other, if other people are saying things about you and it's sinking through your armor and causing you to look in the mirror and be like, ah, and feel some kind of way and like, he doesn't believe in me. Like when you have confidence from experience with yourself, it, it doesn't come down to whether other people believe in you. You just know what you're capable of. I can do this, I cannot do that. I need to work up, I cannot do that right now. I need to work up to this place to where so I can do that. Gosh, man. And the most dangerous thing about it is, is insecure people are preoccupied. When you're insecure and you don't know who you are, you're going to be hypersensitive and hyper preoccupied with protecting your false sense of self, the projection of perfection that your ego forces you to put out into the world and tasks you with trying to maintain before it's actually who you actually are is going to keep you so busy not looking at your deficiencies and so busy fighting anyone who tries to tell you this about yourself, that literally, unfortunately, 99% of us have to take the long way in learning this principle themselves. You won't even be able to hear what I'm trying to say to you. So the remedy is to work on yourself from the beginning because once the insecurities get deep inside of you. It's hard for you to hear anyone's voice but your own because the voice that you end up having to live by is your ego and it's a false projection that's going to try to create a, um, a self-fulfilling prophecy to protect itself as to how good you are, how good you're doing, how perfect you are, how awesome you are in order to keep you safe because all it's really trying to do is protect you. But it has to blind you from reality to protect you. And that's why pride comes before a fall because as the ego is blinding you to protect itself because it doesn't want your identity to shatter when you realize how actually deficient you actually are, which shouldn't be a bad thing. Being imperfect is literally part of the human experience. I know my imperfections, my, my imperfections inspire me. Let me know what I need to work on and what I can achieve because 
I can look back behind me and see all the imperfections that were just targets. Bop, 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 you know? So, even that fall after pride is also providence, reality trying to wake you up because it loves you so that you can uh, level up accurately. I retreat back to my original um, point, which is work on yourself. Hard work is a fortress. It introduces humility and it, um, it, it, it helps you have a relationship with yourself that's so much more realistic and healthy rather than the plastic surgery ego stuff. Close it down with this, kind of the point was to help you realize if these things are possibly, right, possibly present inside of you by listening to your linguistic choices and the effects external things have on you because only you're gonna be able to assess this about yourself. Someone who loves you might tell you this 850 trillion times after living with you for 50 years if you have this mental, it's not a mental illness, but it's, it is like a sickness of um, like brain patterns and thought. It's a sickness of ideas and concepts. If you have this, you literally just won't listen to them because you'll be so busy protecting yourself, trying to protect your self-esteem, which you shouldn't be trying to protect. You should be getting more intimate with and working on. And then no one will be able to touch your self-esteem because you'll have built it brick by brick yourself talk about never blame the victim but really you should blame yourself because the victim here is you not working on you enough to where external things are negatively impacting you right this is why people love me or hate me because that's just the truth you are your own responsibility right so work on yourself so that you can become strong and protect yourself like i hope you do with your children and everyone else in your tribe Okay, so if things are, if people are saying things to you and you're sitting there getting your feelings hurt and like, oh, yeah, then you need to do more work on yourself. If people are giving you constructive feedback, hey, you're doing this bad, dude. You're, you suck at this. And you get your feelings hurt, like you have to survive and struggle for your life to prove that you didn't do it, then <laughs> you're suffering from this, okay? Someone tells you you suck at A, B, C, or D and your response isn't like, really, bro? Like, why do you think that? What's going down? Explain it to me. Okay, if your response isn't that cool, let me put one more little uh, stanky pickle on it real quick. This is not condemnatory, right? So if you're an ego, if you do have an unhealthy ego, by this time you're pissed, you're probably not watching anymore. If you've held yourself to watch this much of this, there's hope for you. You know, ego is the most blinding force in it. Ego and then something that females have are the two most blinding forces. Maybe money. Money's third though. Um, but anyways... All I'm saying to you is, if you've made it this far, there's hope uh, for you and dealing with your ego. And this message isn't condemnatory. This is a fight that we all fluctuate in and out of. Like, I become more powerful, I must face down and make sure my ego is in submission every single time that happens for the rest of my entire life. So all of us are doing this in some way, shape, or form. These are the first few things that you'll deal with with your ego. Guess what? You should probably look inside at your ego and be like, all right, so why am I like ultra triggered when someone gives me some kind of uh, constructive feedback or negative feedback? Um, and then you can start to work on yourself because only you can save yourself. Love you guys. Uh, it's about to be a good day. I'm gonna make it so. I'll see y'all out there. Boom. Boom, what's up you guys? Byron Rogers here. And um, if that video meant anything to you, if it inspired you, if you appreciated it, um, I just want to ask you to possibly support us on Patreon. Um, I generate hundreds of videos per year and spend thousands on free content for you guys per month because it simply is a passion of mine. It's the way that I wanna contribute to the world, you know, to the best of my ability. So obviously I'm gonna continue to do it, but I wouldn't be able to make it sustainable without my partners who support me on Patreon. So thank you so much if you already do. And um, if you haven't done that, it's, you know, you know, for what you pay to McDonald's per month, you could help push the mission and this, this work forward. So anyways, either way, thank you so much. Like, subscribe, check the link below to support me on Patreon if you're interested in that. God bless, Simplify, and I'll see you on the next piece of content, y'all. Boom!